The Pearl Harbor Conspiracy Deceit at Pearl Harbor In December 1941 Japanese aircraft attacked Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, killing over 2,400 American citizens and sinking nearly 20 warships. It was viewed as a master strike by the Japanese, who at that time ruled supreme in the sea and had a reach that extended far beyond the borders of the relatively small island. The result of the surprise attack on Pearl Harbor was that the American people were now emboldened to take part in the war against Hitler. Before the strike, only half of the nation was supportive of an attack against the Axis powers. Pearl Harbor Branches There are two branches to the theory that Japan was allowed to attack Pearl Harbor so that America could assist the Allies against Germany. The first is that the British Prime Minister Winston Churchill knew about the assault in advance and told Roosevelt, but they both agreed to sit on the information, obviously having some sort of arrangement. The second theory is more prominent, in that Churchill knew of the attack but did not tell Roosevelt. Nave had in fact broken the Japanese naval cipher in 1939 and Russ Bridger was a former M16 intelligence officer. The backgrounds of these two co-authors gave the book much publicity and credence. The central claim of betrayal at Pearl Harbor was that Britain had broken the Japanese codes and knew of the attack in advance. Another theory is that not only was Roosevelt aware of the attack, but actively had a hand in orchestrating it. He was known to have been sympathetic to the Allies but could not intervene because it would have gone against public sentiment to engage in a European war. Roosevelt was frequently quoted as saying that he would never put American soldiers into foreign wars. Tyler Kent, a court clerk in the U.S. Embassy in London, was alleged to have discovered secret dispatches between Roosevelt and Churchill which revealed that Roosevelt wanted to win the war along with England. Theorists also hold that America had done its best under Roosevelt to try to provoke Germany into a war, by freezing German assets shipping destroyers, and U-boats to Britain. The conclusion is that it is, in fact, possible that Churchill was aware of the invasion in advance and opted not to tell Roosevelt about it. We have good reasons as to why this intelligence would not be given, at a time when England stood to lose the war which would have shaped the future of world affairs to this day. The decision could have come down to a couple of thousand of American troops at Pearl Harbor or millions of English citizens. And we also have two highly authoritative whistleblowers. This is as much proof as you are going to get in the land of conspiracy theories, as no mainstream papers are going to report international treachery of this level. Some could even say it's simply good business to not inform America, and not in the interests of the British Empire at the time. However, Churchill could have simply given the information to Roosevelt in good faith, and it could have been spun in order to get the American people to take part in the campaign against Germany. The theory that Roosevelt knew about and helped the attack on Pearl Harbor is far less likely, though there have been multiple credible testimonies that Washington knew about the attack in advance.